In Mexico, the presidential election next month could return the long-dominant Institutional Revolutionary Party, or PRI, to power after more than a decade out of the executive office. Most polls favor the candidate of the party, which ruled Mexico as a one-party state for 71 years. Some analysts cite the drug war and failed expectations during the past 12 years for the voter shift back to the PRI. But as the election nears, a movement led by university students has emerged with surprising momentum to show active opposition to the PRI's return to power. FSRN's Shannon Young reports from Oaxaca. The movement, which has managed to rally major support in the streets and online, had an unlikely start on the campus of Mexico's elite Ibero-American University. A May 11th campaign stop by Enrique Peña Nieto, presidential candidate of the pre-party and frontrunner in most polls, was practically run off campus by a group of protesting students, many of whom were recording the scene with their cell phones. Videos of the incident went viral online and received enthusiastic support via social media from those who equate a pre-presidential victory to a return to the days of authoritarian rule. Peña Nieto supporters allege that the protesters were not really university students. 131 students with IDs soon came forward in a video as having participated in the protests. Mi nombre es Jimena F. y mi número de cuenta es 168582. That video too went viral, since logging more than one million views on YouTube. Julieta B. 176234. The movement, which emerged to oppose Peña Nieto and the pre's return to presidential power, took the name Yo Soy 132, or I Am 132. Soon after the fateful visit to the Ibero-American University, students began targeting the studios of Televisa, Mexico's largest broadcaster, over what many here see as biased coverage in favor of Peña Nieto. It's since grown into what has become the largest student-led movement in Mexico in more than 40 years. On June 10th, the movement organized a nationwide action with a day of marches in over 25 Mexican cities, including areas considered pre-strongholds. In the state capital of Oaxaca, demonstrators chanted, "Not one vote for the PRI." The party lost its 80-year monopoly on state executive power in the most recent gubernatorial elections, but remains a major force influencing state politics. El PRI, pues, no lo es todo en nuestro país. 22-year-old medical student Hemisol Cruz Martinez said she attended the march to call on voters to make an educated choice and not just vote for the PRI out of habit in exchange for free gifts or due to workplace threats. The carrot and stick political patronage system associated with the pre style of governance is what many protesters say they don't want to see return. Mexico City, home to the country's largest block of left-leaning voters, has become the epicenter of the new movement. The June 10th march there drew a crowd of at least 90,000 attendees. As the movement grows, center-left candidate Andres Manuel López Obrador has moved into second place in the polls and is closing in on Peña Nieto's margin of victory. This has prompted accusations that the I Am 132 movement favors a particular candidate. In a press conference Monday, National University student Max Alcantara, member of the movement's General Assembly, reiterated that it is not endorsing any candidate. Entendemos a partidismo. We understand the nonpartisan stance not to mean that we are apolitical, but rather that we understand political involvement to go beyond casting a ballot every three or six years. We aim to go beyond electoral politics. The assembly structure itself helps us to analyze democratization and to take on other issues, like the democratization of the media, for instance, in a more long-term way. Political participation is more than just voting. Aside from actions in the streets and in social media, the movement is hosting a debate Tuesday with three of the four presidential candidates. Peña Nieto declined the invitation, citing the movement's anti-pre stance. Also of note is that the two major television networks, Televisa and TV Azteca, will not broadcast the debate, but two Mexico City-based public television stations will, in addition to a number of community radio stations throughout Mexico.
The debate will also be webcast live via YouTube. While these are significant gains for a movement less than seven weeks old, the real test of its power will be its ability to mobilize undecided voters in areas where the PRI has demonstrated its long history as a well-organized and influential political machine. Shannon Young, FSRN, Oaxaca.